English lesson. This lesson focuses on Unit 8 of your Grade 10 textbook. Today we are going to practice writing. Let's learn how to write a paragraph correctly. Let's start the lesson. Children, a paragraph is a group of sentences on the same set of ideas. A paragraph has three major parts. A topic sentence, supporting details and a concluding sentence. A paragraph is written around one central idea which is stated in the topic sentence. The topic sentence is often the first sentence in a paragraph but it may also come at the end of a paragraph. The supporting details are the specific details related to the main idea and the concluding sentence sums up the paragraph. Okay, let's do an activity to identify the topic sentence, supporting details and the concluding sentence of a paragraph. Here is the paragraph. Read it and identify the topic sentence, supporting details and the concluding sentence. Pause the video and do it now. Okay, let's check. Let's read the paragraph together. The computer is the most important modern invention because it has changed how we live. In the past, students often went to the library when they engaged in research, but now most research is done on a computer using the internet. Further, computers have changed how people communicate. People write emails instead of letters and with the invention of services like Skype, telephones may one day be replaced by computers. Finally, computers have made traveling much easier. We can buy airplane tickets using a computer connected to the internet and GPS technology makes it easier to reach our destination. As a whole, the invention of the computer has given us new possibilities and conveniences which now seem hard to live without. Okay, as I told you earlier, the topic sentence is the very first sentence in this paragraph. The computer is the most important modern invention because it has changed how we live. As you can see, all the other sentences revolve around this sentence. That means all the other sentences give supporting information to show how the computer has changed how we live. So what are the supporting details? Let's read them one by one. In the past, students often went to the library when they engage in research, but now most research is done on a computer using the internet. Further, computers have changed how people communicate. People write emails instead of letters and with the invention of services like Skype, telephones may one day be replaced by computers. Finally, computers have made traveling much easier. We can buy airplane tickets using a computer connected to the internet. And GPS technology makes it easier to reach our destination. So there are three pieces of supporting information here. One about how computer helps to search for information how it helps in communication and how it has made traveling easier. Now the concluding sentence is the last sentence. As a whole, the invention of the computer has given us new possibilities and conveniences which now seem hard to live without. This sentence relates or restates what is said in the topic sentence. Okay, I hope now you have a clear idea about the structure of a paragraph. 
children let me discuss one more activity before you start writing a paragraph this activity will help you to understand more about supporting details sometimes when you write supporting details you deviate from the main idea we need to be very careful in such instances so i want you to do this activity to help you avoid that look at this paragraph you have to read this paragraph and pick two sentences which are not supporting details for the topic sentence pause the video and find these two sentences okay let's check whether you could find the sentences let's read the paragraph and see my favorite hobby books are like windows to the world and that is why reading is my favorite hobby i first fell in love with books at the age of 5 when i was first learning to read my mother gave me ladybird books and helped me read them she bought these books at a bookshop as i grew older i discovered famous authors and different kinds of stories Recently I read all of the Harry Potter books and these are now my favorite books. The Harry Potter movies are very good too. I hope to continue exploring the wonderful world of books when I grow older. Okay, what are the two irrelevant sentences? One is she bought these books at a bookshop. What about the other one? It is the Harry Potter movies are very good too. Although these two sentences relate to the speaker's hobby, they are not supporting details to the topic sentence. Books are like windows to the world and that is why reading is my favorite hobby. They don't tell us about why reading is his favorite hobby. Okay, hope it was easy. Okay children now let's write a paragraph This is activity 4 on page 84 of your textbook This is the activity You have to make use of the information given and write a paragraph about our traditional grain rice You can start your paragraph with this topic sentence Rice is a traditional grain in Sri Lanka Okay You can pause the video and do the activity. Okay, let's see how you have done it. I will read a sample paragraph that I have written. Rice is a traditional grain in Sri Lanka. It is mostly grown in Kurunegala, Ampara, Anuradhapura and Polonnaruwa districts. It is rich in carbohydrates, fat, dietary fiber, and vitamin b it is used as the staple food in sri lanka food items that can be prepared using rice are string hoppers hoppers pittu and roti it grows best in an environment with a rainfall of about 1900 mm and an annual temperature range of 21 degrees celsius to 32 degrees celsius It is an important grain in the country. Hope you could write something similar. Okay children, this is your last activity for the day to practice paragraph writing. As you are asked to write a paragraph in your O level paper, let's attempt a question from 2019 O level paper. Usually you are given two topics to choose from but today I'll give you only one from the two and you have to write a paragraph on this particular topic this is the question you can pause the video and do it let's check what you have written i will give you a sample paragraph like in the earlier question let's read it How I spend my free time. I do many activities when I am free. 
You surely I help my mother with all the household work such as cleaning, washing, cooking, etc. I enjoy reading story books, especially detective stories. Sometimes I watch television programs too. I like cartoons and children's programs. I enjoy doing my free time activities. I hope you also could write like this. You can score 5 marks if you do it correctly at the exam. Okay children, with that activity we have come to the end of today's lesson. In this lesson we learned how to write a paragraph correctly. There will be some more lessons to practice this same skill so that you can get a good grade at the O-level exam. So be with us and watch all our lessons. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel too. See you again. Goodbye.